you, kids. It's Andy's gang. Andy Devine, one of my favorite actors. Uh, today I'll take on a road trip in this video. We will go to Kingman, Arizona. We'll look at a couple of things. We'll find a hotel that his father owned and where Andy grew up in the hotel. There's also a museum in Kingman and we'll go by and uh, take a look around there too. But before we get started, let's learn a little more about Andy Devine. Andy Devine was an actor during the 30s, 40s, and 50s. He had two children, uh, both boys, one named Timothy A. Devine, who goes by Tad, T-A-D, and he's uh, living in California, a retired landscaper. And Dennis Devine is a property developer in Nashville, Tennessee. And he was born in Flagstaff, Arizona, but he, he was raised in Kingman, and today... Main Street is named after him. Andy's father, pictured here, uh, worked with um, in uh, lumber mills in Flagstaff, and he got injured uh, with a train accident when they're bringing in logs. And with the insurance money settlement, he was able to buy the hotel in Kingman, Arizona, and this was in 1906. Andy uh, started out with Universal Pictures where he uh, worked for, he was under contract for over 20 years. And then eventually Universal was sold to the Chinese, you know, just like everything else. And from there he went over to Republic Pictures and he did uh, 10 movies with Roy Rogers where he played the part of Cookie. Then he made, then he did uh, made-for-TV programs with Wild Bill Hickok, and he played the part of Jingles. And then from there, he he did uh, Andy's Gang, and he was there for five or six years. He met his wife Dorothy on a Will Rogers movie called Doctor Bull. She was playing an act. She was playing an extra on the movie and. Uh, Andy ended up having lunch with her and uh, learned that she loved horses and being outside and things like that. And he said during lunch, he said, you know, I might just marry you. And after lunch, the first thing Andy did was went to the, the uh, producer, John Ford, and asked if they can keep Dorothy on for the remainder of the picture. And he talked him into it. They eventually married at the end of the summer, and at the time, Andy was 28, and Dorothy was 18 years old. Andy played semi-pro football with the L.A. Bulldogs. He played the position of center and linebacker. Back then, you know, they would play both sides of the ball. He played under the name of Jeremiah Schwartz because he didn't want to confuse his football name with his Hollywood actor name. So he chose Jeremiah Schwartz. And today some thinks that's actually his real name, but it's not. It's definitely Andy Devine. You know, Andy had that unique voice. Uh, what had happened was he was running through the hallways there at the hotel in Kingman. Arizona and uh, he had a curtain rod in his mouth when he's a little boy and he tripped and fell and it it uh, It caused it, you know it damages vocal cords and that caused him to have a squeaky voice and and uh, uh, So anyway, he he took full advantage of it in Hollywood so he had nodes on his vocal cords, but you know so did Bing Crosby as Andy would say but Andy said that Bings are in tune, mine are not. They lived on five acres in Van Nuys, California, where they had horses and chickens. And this is a house. And this is what it looks like today. Andy was named Honorary Mayor of Van Nuys, California. 
And now here's his son that's on a Groucho Marx program uh, talking a little bit about his father. Good looking son, isn't he? I think he's in his mid 70s now in Nashville, Tennessee. And he also played alongside of John Wayne in movies such as Stagecoach, 1939, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, and How the West Was Won, both in 1962. He played a character named Danny McGuire in a Star is Born movie in 1937. And he also did the voice of Friar Tuck in a Disney film, Robin Hood, and this was in 1973. And he wanted to get into the movie, so after he graduated from college in uh, northern Arizona, there in Flagstaff, he decided to head out to Hollywood, and his first job was as a lifeguard, believe it or not, on Venice Beach. And he also appeared in over 75 times on Jack Benny's radio show between 1936 and 1942. He also provided a voice for Cornelius the Rooster in several cornflake commercials. Here's Andy downtown during Andy Divine Day signing autographs on Andy Divine Boulevard. So let, what do you say, let's hit the road and uh, go to Kingman, shall we? Okay, now I'm checking my messages and I see I have... Um, uh, several from a Facebook forum I'm involved with. It's called Fair Play for JFK. It was set up by my friend Jim about three years ago. We have 1,700 members. If you have an interest in the JFK assassination, maybe you should take a look at it. If you believe Oswald shot President Kennedy, you're welcome to join. If you believe there was a conspiracy, you are welcome to join. Or if you're kind of undecided, you're welcome to join. Uh, it's it, We have members worldwide, and we conduct ourselves in a very professional manner. Basically, no cursing, no personal attacks. Go take a look at it. If you have questions, get a hold of me. Uh, if you'd like to join, let me know, and I'll get you signed up. send Seymour up and just a minute and take a look at the sign this is the hotel this is where Annie Devine's father ran this hotel this is about this is about all that's left
taking Seymour up and I apologize again for the train noise. Just seemed like uh, one came by every three or four minutes. I wanted to go up and look at this sign. Looks like about a 1950s neon type sign. And again, Andy's father bought the Hotel 1906. I think there's two of these signs on top of the building. Quite a windy day. I'm trying to hover or see more and the wind is moving me around some. Hotel Bill. Air cooled. That's important in Kingman. It can get up to 110 degrees today and I'm sure the same back in the day. Okay, we're still in Kingman. This is at the Mojave Museum. And let's go inside and take a look around. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy it. Straight back? Yeah, okay. Uh, if you want just Andy Devine, uh -huh. move this way and back that way. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Hiya, kids! It's Andy's gang! Andrew Weber Andy Devine was born on October 7, 1905 in Flagstaff, Arizona. Andy was an American character actor and comic cowboy sidekick known for his distinctive whiny voice. He grew up in Kingman, Arizona, where his family moved when he was a year old. The family owned the Beale Hotel in Kingman. He attended Northern Arizona State Teachers College, now known as the Northern Arizona University, where he played football and basketball. He also played football at Santa Clara University. He played semi-professional football under the pseudonym Jeremiah Schwartz while working as an extra in Hollywood. His football experience led to his first sizable film role in the 1931 film The Spirit of Notre Dame. In 1926, Andy accompanied his father, Tom Devine, to Long Beach, California, where Tom was to undergo a dangerous cancer operation. Tom did not survive the operation. Andy went for a ride on the electric trolley, the red car, trying to sort out his life now that his father was gone. By chance, he ended up standing on Hollywood Boulevard, where an assistant director from Universal Pictures asked if Andy played football, and if so, Universal was hiring footballers for a series of college-oriented films known as The Collegians, and he might get a few weeks' work. Andy didn't go back to Arizona. While working as an extra in films, Andy had several jobs to pay the rent. Among those was a period of time as an L.A. City Beach lifeguard at Venice Beach. In the beginning, people thought his strange whining voice would make it hard for him in the new talkie pictures, but it soon became his unique trademark. Andy wasn't sure, but he thought his unique voice might have been the result of a childhood accident. He said he had been running with a curtain rod in his mouth at the Beale Hotel when he fell and it pierced the roof of his mouth. When he was able to speak again, he had developed a labored, scratchy, duotone voice. Andy has appeared in more than 400 films. His most notable roles included 10 films as sidekick Cookie to Roy Rogers, a role in Romeo and Juliet in 1936, and Danny in A Star is Born in 1937. He made several appearances in films with John Wayne, including Stagecoach in 1939, Island in the Sky in 1953, and as the frightened marshal in The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance in 1962. Although Andy was known generally for his comic roles, Jack Webb cast him as a police detective in Pete Kelly's Blues in 1955. Devine lowered his voice in that film and was more serious than usual. His film appearances in his later years included movies such as Zebra in the Kitchen, The Over the Hill Gang, and he played Coyote Bill in Myra Breckenridge. 
His stage career was also an important part of his later acting years. He played the captain in Showboat in 1957 and went on to play in Anything Goes, My Three Angels, and Never Too Late. And he also worked in radio. He is well remembered for his role as Jingles, Guy Madison's sidekick in The Adventures of Wild Bill Hickok, which Divine and Madison reprised on television. He appeared over 75 times on Jack Benny's radio show between 1936 and 1942, often appearing in Benny's semi-regular western series of sketches, Buck Benny Rides Again. Benny frequently referred to Andy as the mayor of Van Nuys. In fact, he did serve as honorary mayor of that city where he lived from 1938 to 1957 when he moved to Newport Beach. He hosted a children's TV show, Andy's Gang, on NBC from 1955 to 1960. Won't you magic clanger, Froggy? <laughs> 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 no, I don't feel good. I'm on a diet. <laughs> What's so funny about a diet? I haven't had a thing to eat all day, and it's not funny. I'm sorry. You must be very hungry. <laughs> I certainly am hungry. Poor Andy. No butter toast and jelly for breakfast. No. No, my. No ham and eggs. <laughs> no wheat cakes and syrup. No. There won't be nothing for lunch. No. <laughs> no dessert. Anytime. Not even a cream puff. There won't be one. No. Why do you be quiet? Cream puffs are loaded with calories. And I wouldn't be fun if you'd give it to me. As you would. No. The R-E-R -E stands for Red-Eyed Rooster, and he was an amateur radio operator. Now I'm going to kind of mosey around the museum and see what else there is. I've never been here before. 
and I'm about to bring in some music I, find, I found while we look at these pictures. Now I see James Dean and I found some audio to bring in on him too. Hello, I'm James Dean. I find myself being very cautious on the highway. I don't have the urge to, to speed on the highway. People say racing is dangerous, but... It was kind of eerie to me to hear him say the word but. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. I'm the owner of uh, Direct Insurance. My name's Dave. Remember to always do business with an independent agent.